Well, I wanted to show you the final results of my novelty corn experiment, my uh, Indian corn. And I didn't get a lot uh, of ears. A lot of the stalks did not produce. Some produced some, some stunted ears, small ears. Probably my fault for not really pollinating like I should. Uh, but some of them are absolutely beautiful. That, uh, that is a pretty ear of corn, about eight inches long. That one's another really nice one. Uh, really nice, kind of a, kind of a black and red. Uh, this was a red variety. It had the blue variety that produced some pretty good size, pretty good ears. That one's only about five, six inches long. And uh, another one that's more of a lighter blue. And then that's more of a traditional uh, Indian corn, as is uh, that one over there. So I don't know. I was I was I was pretty impressed. My wife's going to take these to work at her uh, at the mall that where she uh, manages, and she's going to see if she can't sell these things. And I don't know why she couldn't. Uh, I've seen, uh, as I showed you when I was doing the planting, uh, again, these were planted in containers, um, wicking tubs to be specific. And um, I told you then that I've seen uh, going eBay and you see this novelty corn, Indian corn uh, on eBay for, uh, shoot, four, three and four dollars an ear. So it could be considering one seed doesn't cost you hardly anything. Uh, a little fertilizer and a little dirt. That is a beautiful ear of corn. I had a lot of earworm or some earworm damage. I cut a little bit of that off. Uh, but, uh, and again, some of the ears are only four or five inches long. And that's, um, and some of them are spotty in their, um, in their uh, filling out the kernels. Uh, sure, that was my fault. Uh, just for not uh, fertilizing like I should, but mainly not pollinating. They were in such a small group in those uh, wicking tubs that I really should have taken better care to hand pollinate. I, I showed you once before hand pollinating out in, uh, out in the field when you just plant one or, one or two rows. They really need to be hand pollinated. There's just not enough corn there for the pollen pollen to fall off the the, uh, the tops, uh, the tassels down onto the silks and the ears. So kind of needed to have been hand pollinated. I did that one time, but I didn't do it as, um, as proficiently as I should have uh, as I did the first time that I got the, the good success. But again, as far as growing some beautiful ears, they sure will do it. That's just a pretty, pretty seven, eight inch, uh, ear corn and then uh, some of the shorter ones even though that's pretty it's it's short that's only about five inches long and i'll let you know how it goes and what i uh what i realized out of this if and when she sells some of this stuff but i think it looks pretty good some of them look, look beautiful so real tickled with uh, how they look a little uh a little less tickled with the way i manage them uh, I should have done a better job pollinating, hand pollinating these, and I think I would have seen a much better result. But here we are, and um, you may want to give it a shot. Next year, some novelty corn. Look on eBay. You'll find this stuff. Novelty corn, uh, and, and do it for sale mainly around this time of year. Maybe in the September, no October, November. That's when people start thinking about decorating with this stuff is around uh, Thanksgiving. So planting it in August for a fall uh, corn crop and uh, for, for sale as a novelty item. You could, uh, you could probably make a few extra bucks. Who doesn't need it? Around November, right? All this, uh, all this seed came from Haas Tools. Uh, all the, they, they sell the red, the uh, traditional uh, colored, red and then they sell the blue also and that blue is really pretty if it had filled out better again probably my fault but if it would have filled out better that blue would really really be pretty uh, and i think would uh, 
would make a pretty who wouldn't want that on you on your table at thanksgiving when everybody comes over to eat right that would make a pretty what do you call that a centerpiece i think who wouldn't who wouldn't want that as a in their centerpiece at thanksgiving beautiful all right that's it we're done we're gone